In this short video, we'll look at the RUT240 from Teltonica. We will go over what comes in the box, walk through the different features on the router, and cover the functionality of the LED lights. Let's get started by covering what comes in the box. To start, there is a quick start guide that offers instructions on how to get your device up and running. There is also an overview card of Teltonica's remote management tools. To enable connectivity to another device, a 1.5 meter or 5 foot ethernet cable is provided. An AC adapter is provided to power the device. You also have the option of using DC power or power over ethernet, which we'll discuss later. To insert the SIM card, you need to access the SIM holder. To help, a SIM needle is provided. If you don't have it available, you can also use a paper clip. The router comes with three antennas. Two are for cellular connectivity and one is for Wi-Fi functionality. As I often say, you should use two cellular antennas to maximize the performance of your device. And of course, you have the router itself. We will walk through this device next. In order to access the cellular network, you need to start by inserting your SIM card. To do this, push the SIM card holder with the provided SIM needle, or of course you can always use a paper clip. Insert the card into the SIM holder and reinsert the holder back into the router. On the top side of the unit, there is a decal that shows the default IP address of the unit, as well as its default username and password. We always recommend that you change these credentials immediately. Let's move on to the front side of the router. There is a four pin power socket. The first pin in the upper left is the power, which uses a red color wire. The second in the top right is the ground indicated by a black cable. The third is the input pin, a green cable in the lower left. And finally in the lower right, there is the output pin indicated by a white cable. As I referred to earlier, the device can also be powered via Power over Ethernet, or PoE. Please check the user manual for how to do this. Moving on, we find the two Ethernet ports. There is both a LAN and a WAN port on this unit. Finally, to finish up the front side, there are LED lights to indicate the signal strength. We will cover those in the section on LED lights. Now on to the back side of the unit. There are three antenna ports to provide connectivity for the unit. Two are for cellular connectivity and one is for Wi-Fi. There is also a reset button in the event that the device is not functioning as desired. The first set of LED lights are for indicating power. If the light is on, the router is receiving sufficient power to operate. If it is off, the device is not powered up. There are LED lights to indicate the status of each of the Ethernet ports. If the light is turned on when a cable is attached, the port is operating at 10100 megabit per second connection speed. If the light is off, there is no link established. To indicate activity across the port, the LED light will blink. Finally, if the lights light up and turn off in sequence, this tells you that the router is in bootloader menu state. Please refer to your user manual for more details on that. Some of the models of this device will have lights to indicate the cellular technology that is being used. This one does not have that functionality. And finally, similar to your cell phone, the router will use the BARS method of telling you the level of cellular signal strength that it currently has. Like your phone, the more BARS, the better. If you're consistently getting three BARS or less, you may wish to consider using a stronger antenna setup or moving the device to a different location. For more details on the dB value that each light indicates, please refer to your user manual. Many thanks for taking time to watch this video. It is part of a series of videos to help you get started in the world of IoT. We look forward to hearing from you. Please use the contact information on the screen.